Okay, part 208-6-44 um, is this one right here. It's going to be a little bit trickier because the width of this is 7.5. So it is not 7.5 from the center to center. It's 7.5 from this endpoint to that endpoint. Okay, we can do some math and stuff like that if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and just use the system and the things we know to get this done. If you want to do the math, go ahead. Um, um, but these are the numbers we need. So the, the 7.5, oops, the 7.5 is from this end to this end. The depth of it, so from here over to here, is 2.5. The holes, um, or the height of it is going to be 1.5, so it'll be 1.5 thick when this view gets in here. And the holes are a diameter 1.06. Now the big question you have is going to be what is that radius right there? You don't know. But what we do know is this. We know that if the um, depth of this right here is 2.5, that that radius is going to be half of that because those meet at that quadrant point. So doesn't matter at this point what we're going to do. We're going to just go back here to AutoCAD. Hmm, for some reason it's not opening up. That's good. So we'll go ahead and click that. We'll get started on this piece right here. We're just going to go ahead. Um, we can switch to this view. Click a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and make that first circle there a circle that is 2.5 across. So that's the... Um, the diameter is 2.5 because that's what it was all the way across there. Um, next thing I'm going to do is this to figure this out without needing to do math. I'm going to click line, shift right click, and I'm going to click on the quadrant point. So every one of these circles, every circle you draw has quadrant points and it also has center points. So I'm going to draw from this quadrant point, ortho on, F8, go over 7.5. That's the exact width, right, of the, of the part. So then we'll click copy. And we're going to copy from this intersection right here to that endpoint right there. So now we know that's exactly 7.5 long. We can then draw a line that goes from this uh, um, quadrant point right here to shift right click in this quadrant point right here. Do the same on the bottom. Draw a line that goes shift right, right click from this quadrant point here to shift right click in this quadrant point right there. All right. Um, we don't need this in the middle, so I'll just go ahead and delete it, and I'm going to go ahead and click trim, right click, and get rid of that part and that part. The next thing we're going to do is draw a circle that has a diameter from the center point of this one. Shift right click center, so I'm going to override that, um, and put in 1.0 as that diameter, and then we'll just copy this one over um, from that center point to shift right click and to the center of the circle right here. All right, so now that that's in the right place, we'll go ahead and ex uh, hit home. Um, we could extrude it if we did P-Edit, but I'm going to show you something else real quick. You can use this press pull right here. If you click press pull and then click inside this area, and then let's say you move it up, which was the thickness was 1.25, um, that should be it there. Now what this does is when you use press pull, um, let's, say, let's, let's say I try to move this, um, I'll move this upward. You'll see it left the original thing that I drew there in place. And I don't really want that there. So you can't erase it, but most of the time you won't even see it. So um, it should be fine. So double click that mouse or double click the mouse wheel there. And that's it. So we'll click save as this one is 208, part number 208 44. And it is called a link. And we'll save that. We're going to go ahead and create the P PDF file. That's all right. Click that. That's because I've already tried to plot something. I'll have to close those out from here on out. DWG to PDF. Extents. Center the plot. Click Preview. That's what we want. Right-click and plot. I'm going to save this as the PDF file. So that's it. That's what you would submit right there when you submit it to, to uh, Blackboard. Have me check it, and then we'll move on.